And thank you so much. Well, it is one of the largest school districts in the tri-state. And this morning, Lakota Schools is uh, in Butler County preparing for the start of the school year for classroom time and online learning as well. WCPO 9 News reporter Paula Suro joins us to explain how the district is looking at for educators and students alike this coming school year. Paula, good morning. Good morning, Tamika. You know, Lakota Local Schools has nearly 17,000 students, and now the district is moving forward with its Plan A, which basically means that all students will return to class, but it will look very different because, of course, we got to do it safely. So among those added precautions and safety measures, mandatory face coverings are what's going to be in place. There will also be mask breaks where kids can go outside, stand six feet apart, and remove them. But for parents with concerns, remote learning will still be available. District officials say so far more than 1,000 students have signed up for 100% online learning. Superintendent Matt Miller believes remote learning doesn't come close to the benefits of in-person classes. But despite that, his district is beefing up its online offerings. It'll be a lot better than what happened in the spring. I thought the spring was bad. It's just we had to essentially flip a switch and go to remote where this way we're planning a little bit more and have a little bit more time to build out something more robust. Now Lakota's virtual learning option will also feature a teacher who will be available to answer any questions for the students and help them along the way. And uh, WCPO 9 News is really trying to answer any questions that you might have on this topic. If you missed our hour long special that aired yesterday, we've got that right now on our app and on Roku. You can check that out. But for now, reporting live, Paolo Lasuro, WCPO 9 News.